And hello folks, it is I, Kamikaze, here to bring you, uh, well, a stupid video. It's a stupid video because it's about politics. I hate politics. I don't follow politics. I don't follow any of the things. I didn't even vote. The reason why is I'm not going to vote if I didn't follow anything. The reason why I don't follow anything is because all the news is always depressing. It's always depressing, and it makes me depressed, and I don't want to be depressed, so I don't, you know, follow it. That's just my choice. I'm sorry if that offends you that it's like my American duty to vote or otherwise. I don't think so. I mean, it's my right to vote if I choose to. But if I don't follow it, you don't want me to go in there and just start voting for people that I don't have any background knowledge of, do you? I mean, that's stupid in my opinion. But the thing is, is that this whole Hillary versus Trump thing and where Trump won and so forth, the moment Trump said that he was running for office and I heard about it, I'm like, he's going to win. Why? Because <laughs> we don't vote for important things. We vote for uh, America's Got Talent. Uh, we vote for what TV shows are going to watch. We vote for uh, American Idol and all these other things we vote for. We watch uh, Fantasy, Walking Dead, all these shows and so forth. We don't really vote for what's important. We vote for what we think is going to be interesting, or what we find really cool, or we vote for stupid shit. We do. So, that's exactly what was going to happen. It's the same reason that Arnold Schwarzenegger became governor. A lot of people voted for him because they uh, he was an actor and all this kind of stuff and so forth. I mean... There are people that voted because they, you know, there are people that voted. I'm not saying that there aren't, that everyone voted this way. I'm just saying that there's a lot of people that voted for them because of the entertainment value. That's it. But I'm not, I'm, I'm not voting just out of choice because I didn't follow any of it. And you don't want a blind choice in there. Unless I, you know, I vote for like Garfield the cat. Because you know what? He might make the next presidency. At the rate we're going, I, I would, could see even stupider people becoming president uh, years down the line uh, until people get things fixed where, you know, uh, a family of two, you know, like a husband and wife, let's say, can't afford an apartment because they don't make enough money, even both working, where all the richer, rich people become richer. Uh, you know, sports athletes, uh, freaking big companies, uh, I mean, all of these people who get richer and so forth. I mean, I I'm including, like, I know they give to charities and so forth, but Bill Gates, the the Gabe guy who owns Valve, uh, um, other supreme YouTubers that have billions of subscribers, they make so much money that, I mean, as I've said before, if I had like, you know, let's say $2 million in my bank account, that survives me the rest of my life living in the life of luxury. I don't need anything more. Everything else I could put to charities. And instead of, you know, where all these people are donating to charities, they need to get off their ass and go there and do it. That's my opinion. If you've got the money, you've got the leg power. Go do it yourself. Go make sure that money is put 100% towards the purpose. Because if you have the money, you don't have to worry about, like, oh, you know what? I'm not sure if I could afford taking the time off. Oh, wait, I have billions in my bank account. I could. I mean, all these uh, shelters and all these uh, charities and all these fundraisers and all these things that people donate to. A lot of them, a lot of the money doesn't even go toward them. I mean, you could, I've seen on, like, boxes of... Uh, um, of food, where they say, like, every purchase, one dollar goes toward, uh, the so-and-so foundation of something. Well, if, and some of the fine print, uh, one in particular, it said 15% of every dollar goes toward, uh, the actual helping other people. The other 85% go towards costs and fees and all this other stuff, which means 85% of that dollar donation goes to nothing. Nothing. It, and I mean nothing because it goes to the people that are doing the damn thing instead of the people that the money is supposed to go toward. Those are the things that bug me. People have money and they're using it poorly. All of them. I barely have money and I still use it poorly. But the thing is, is if I had like $2 million, $1 million, if I even had, you know, any kind of money that made it so I didn't have to actually work, but I was still earning money, 
I would go off my ass and go from place to place doing the things that no one else is doing. You know how they uh, you know, have build like those housing and so forth? I could go someplace, hire a contractor who would hire people and so forth and deal directly with them instead of de dealing with middleman after middleman after middleman and hopes that a lot of this money goes for these things. But I mean, imagine how many houses... You know, just, we're talking small houses. We're one bedroom, one bath, just something for the homeless, or whatever you want to call it. Shelters, I don't care. All the, my brain is just rambling at this point, so a lot of this is probably not going to make any sense. But all the, the, the million dollars could probably build a crap ton of those things. If you get a nice group of people. Like, my favorite company, or one of my favorite companies, is Newman's Own. I don't really know a whole lot about it, but on every one of their packages, it says, All profits go to charity. A company that manufactures millions and millions and millions of uh, food products on a regular basis. All of their profits go to charity. And they want you to know that smack dab on the front. I think that's great. That's like what all companies should try and go for. If you've got enough money to live, go do something good with the rest of it. The rest of it. Not a little bit of it. And stop looking for freaking tax... Uh, 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 write-offs and crap because you've already made enough money. You can pay the taxes. That's it. If you have enough money, use whatever money you think you need to live the rest of your life. Me, I said $2 million, but that was because I was estimating like uh, 20000 a year for the next, what is that, 100 years, which means it takes care of me, my family, and so forth. And I could also generate interest in a bank or something. That way, I could go and do whatever the hell I want. I could go on adventures, trips. I could do everything. $20,000 is more than enough for me to live off of. It's more than what most people can live off of. I mean, it makes sense to me. I, I probably doesn't make sense to you, but this is my rant because a lot of you have asked me about my uh, political beliefs and so forth. I have none. I'm not Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a uh, elephant. I'm not a monkey. I'm not a, you know, unicorn. Well, I do like unicorn stickers, but uh, I, I'm not any of these things. I'm myself and I'm going to remain myself. So I just wish that more people would actually get off their ass with the money they have and do so much more than what they're doing right now. Because just writing a check and handing it to a charity is just not enough. Because you never notice that these charities never, never actually do enough good. And if you went down there with that charity, you could do far more good with that chunk of money that you just wrote the check to them for by going down there. There's so much more that people could do. Um, yeah, this is just a rant. You can gripe, moan, complain right below. Uh, this is just to answer a bunch of the questions. I, I probably missed a couple of them that you guys have asked me through freaking Steam, because that's where I pretty much know all of you from. Um, but yeah, so that's my political beliefs, which is non-existent. And that ex also explains what I would spend money on if I had so much money. And uh, my whole thing of the uh, the election. Uh, crap, I know there was something else. Doesn't matter. I'll catch you guys later.